Hello everybody, this is Tudor, and today I'm going to talk to you uh, and present to you uh, one of my favorite things um, of 2017. <laughs> and this was Neoparic, a software that was developed by Lucian Stankulescu in his own time uh, and by his own rules. And uh, it really feels that way, it's a really welcoming, simple, fun and accessible software for artists of any backgrounds, of any amount of knowledge. I started using the software about six months ago. Uh, I did a little cactus project that I enjoyed really much and I knew right away that this is a software that is modern and that can satisfy my needs as an artist that was already getting bored with CGI and also the needs of a beginner artist or somebody that's not into CGI that much but would like to try. I will try my best to create something while talking about what I do and how this software functions. Because the purpose of this tutorial is not just to present uh, Neobarrick's tools and interface and um, talk about how they work, but to also show you how to use these tools in a creative way. So what I have in mind for now is trying to uh, create a bust of a robot perhaps because that is something that I enjoy making and I think uh, it is something that Neo Barrack is particularly good at. So without further ado, let's look at the interface. So the first thing that um, appealed to me um, as a CGI user was the fact that it's got a really simple, a really pleasant and well thought interface. First of all, I apologize uh, for the lack of a um, cursor on the screen. It was just a compromise that I had to make this time and I hope that uh, you can understand what I'm doing because um, any tool that I select is going to be highlighted and you are going to be able to trace anything that I do and I'm going to also talk about it um, in the meantime as well. First of all, one thing that I do recommend when you start up your barrack before you can do anything else is clicking on this end button on the top left corner. When you do this, you're going to be uh, given a few more tools to work with and it sets up the creation space in a different way and allows you to do some things um, in a more pleasant manner um, or at least personally, that's what I prefer doing. Before I do anything else, I click on that button, I um, get an overview of all the tools that I can work with and then I start adding stuff to my scene. So right now, if I click on the primitives um, tool and select a sphere, for example, um, by default, mirror X symmetry is going to be activated and if I drag by clicking and dragging, I will add an object to the scene and it's going to be duplicated on the exact opposite side. In order to navigate, you can use right click to pan and you can instantly switch from panning to rotating by uh, holding right click further and then clicking on left click. So by holding the two together, you can start rotating around your objects. And right now it might feel a bit confusing because we are in orthographic or in orthographic uh, viewport mode, sorry. And to um, uh, get rid of that, because if you, if you look at those two spheres, they don't look like they're in a 3D space because they're exactly the same size, even though one of them is much further behind the other. So to correct that and get a much better understanding of our space and our models, you can go to render and click on perspective or click on f6 and now everything's changed you see that now we get a sense of distance and positioning between our objects let's start off with a sphere and by default we're on x symmetry mode if i press now on x i can deactivate that and drag and drop a single sphere right click to pan right click and left click to move about and rotate my object with z symmetry um, okay, so now I know my axis is right over there. One other thing that can be useful is uh, enabling selection mode, uh, which shows you which object you are going to make any modifications to, and that's something that I find really helpful. Now, I can keep on working with Z symmetry on and use deform to sculpt this ball into a um, something that looks more like a head, for example. And I need a bit more size and i think i'm thinking about making a sort of a, a mech helmet i don't really know what i'm doing right now i'm just experimenting with shapes and hope something comes up along the way um there's one uh, really cool thing you can do with this brush i think 
Um, okay, so this shape looks fairly decent. It looks like something that I could work with. Okay, a few more things to adjust, and then I can take this a bit further. And actually start designing it and turn it into something that is actually pretty, not just a blobby surface. So, uh, now let's put some more resolution and more detail on it. And I like to emphasize certain structures that form and some actually natural. That thing, I think, looks pretty cool. This right here is the move tool. You can see that it um, only affects the object that I'm selecting. Okay, pretty straightforward. This is the rotate tool. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and note that it, also, it always... Um, depends on the viewport angle so right now my axis is the axis of my um, vision or my view and if i move here the axis becomes my view angle pretty straightforward as well it was a bit annoying at the start but then i got used to it and i there are some advantages to it and now let's do something else tubes this is probably the best feature in neobank or at least it is my favorite and i will always advertise it as such Myself something a bit different and um, something I can work with. Okay, let's move that into position right about there. Say okay, and now let's use some more tubes. And by default, in uh, tubes, if you click and drag, it's gonna create really weird and uneven surface like this. So, you don't want that. Uh, I can't think of any uh, situation where you want that. And if you're working on a Mac and you want to fix that, you do it with the option button. So, you click and then hold the option button, click and drag. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and you get this smooth and nicely so a nice surface that you can work. Okay, undo that and let's try that on our model. Click on option. Okay, and I want it to follow this you know, curvature of this uh, would be helmet. <laughs> I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break I'm staying strong, need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on and I'm staying strong, need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on Taste on when I chase like that, yeah I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat Gonna see me rise if you hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack No, it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up This how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough Yeah, I call your bluff, I'm not the one Mess with me, come down with none Cause I'm so done, you had your fun And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun Cause I got a full clip, put your name on it But I'ma let you slide cause you ain't worth it Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on
So where were oh, okay 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 the actual thing that I wanted to do. <laughs> so put that sphere right about there. Yeah, that looks good. And now add a cylinder to it. Roughly in the middle. Doesn't matter if we don't hit the middle. Straight on. Okay. Boom. Instant satisfaction. <laughs> I actually love that a lot. I think it it it, it describes the software perfectly. Instant satisfaction. Okay, so now we have some sort of like um, exhausts or I don't even know power cells that this guy might use. And now let's do something really interesting. What I love about the capsules in your back is that they've got like this natural panel line uh, running across them, and that is really easy um, to take advantage of and use it as a um, actual panel line and add some speakers to it like rivets. Boom. Boom, and that is instantly, that instantly looks so much better. Okay, so that concludes our first um, attempt at a tutorial in uh, Neo Barrack. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I've um, stirred your interest towards Neo Barrack, and uh, I hope that you'll give it a try and get used to the interface and get, get to know it uh, before um, the next release comes out. Uh, the next version 
um, so that you can get an, a better understanding of it and be more prepared for the next tools that are going to be introduced. And I hope that you are going to um, be with us for the release. And uh, you're looking right now at a um, earlier mech sculpt that I've done previously. And again, using the exact same techniques I've shown in this tutorial, um, I've done nothing different. Um, maybe I've just played with a few more materials and that's the only difference. So for this episode, I think this is enough. Um, for the next episode, I am probably going to try to do something more uh, complete, probably be a torso. Um, together with the arms and neck and uh, um, sort of take uh, things to the next stage basically and uh, show you some more of the um, tools and probably some more techniques in your barrack though honestly what I've shown in this tutorial is probably 60 to 70 percent of what I'm capable of doing in your barrack and what I tend to do all the time no matter um, the project um, I will talk more about the advantages of neo barrack uh, compared to ZBrush um, in our next video and I'll show you why um, it is so much faster in some ways and it is so much uh, better designed in terms of production and having a character ready for animation for example and I'll show you how you can um, focus on your creation process so that when your character is finished it is in that instant ready to be rigged and animated and that is something that is um, exclusive to Nearbarak. Well, that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm uh, always here um, to help you out if there's anything you haven't understood. And good luck and have fun.